Hannah was my first screenplay. So I came to VFS because I wanted to, to explore something that I ha wasn't familiar with. And I wanted to see if I could use my skills to make a real go of being a writer. You're dead. Right now. I've killed you. Promise not to follow me. I promise. I tried to prepare you. You didn't prepare me for this. Sometimes children are bad people too. When I came to VFS, it was about writing. It wasn't about making movies. My achievable goal was to write a really good screenplay. So it was never about the film, and it's, it still isn't in a strange way. Like, I'm glad that it was made, and, and I'm very happy that it's made, and, and, uh, but the film wasn't the end goal. The script was the end goal, and uh, and that's the way I think about screenplays because there's like the odds of getting a film made are very they're they're stacked against you, but the odds of writing a script well th that's all on you right. So um, I wrote the best screenplay I possibly could at the time, and and I wanted to sell it so that I could keep writing screenplays. Yeah, what else? Adapt or die. Think on your feet. Even when I'm sleeping. One of the things that's most impressive about the project and the development, you know, I can say that the first 20 minutes of the movie essentially were on the page when he came to me in class and sort of showed me his idea, right? I mean, that opening set in Finland sequence was on the page. That was the pitch. The image of a girl hunting a deer running through the trees, and I think I'm going to turn into an assassin movie. He had a really strong conception for that character. He knew what, he knew what his protagonist was as that 15-year-old girl raised to be an assassin, right? So the work that I did after that was sort of taking that character at the starting point and then developing that character, making sure that Seth was getting his trajectory, his story trajectory was as strong as it could be to draw out the full complexity of that character. Hannah! Hannah, please! I tried to prepare you for what your life would be. You didn't prepare me for this. I got a phone call in January. They're planning to shoot in six weeks. Would I come to Berlin? and work with Joe on doing a rewrite. Working with him was quite strange and awesome um, because what I'd been becoming used to over the last five years was a lot of, no, you can't do that. And he said, yes, you can do that. And we went completely nuts. I'd go sit in his apartment and we'd work until like, you know, two in the morning. And then I would go back to my apartment and sleep. And then I'd get up at like six or seven, go for breakfast, and then we would work all day. And, uh, and it was very, um, uh, very inspiring. And action! When I was on set, I mean, I had spent three and a half months with these people. They became my family. And we were all working towards one goal and see other people using their creative talents to make something. It was pretty inspiring and, and I really, really love working with the crew and I really love working with other people. It kind, of, uh, it kind of made me come out of my shell a little bit and it was very a very wonderful experience. I mean, that's impressive to go through the entire Hollywood development process and be able to hold on to your vision so cleanly, right, and actually see it realized up on the screen. That's got to be a rush for him. I came to VFS because I wanted to explore a new area of writing that I wasn't exposed to. If I want to be a writer, then I need to write and, uh, and do that as, as the best I can possibly do it. <laughs> that makes sense? It's really gratifying to see the growth and maturity in, in the students once they graduate, once they get into the real world, once they continue you know, on their career paths, to, to really see them grow as, as individuals and as writers. It, it is very gratifying, I must say. Writing is a very isolated, lonely art form. Coming to VFS, you know, you still have to isolate yourself, you still have to get that work done, but you also have this whole group of people who are willing to read you and, and to analyze you and talk to you about your work, which is a very um, important thing when you're starting out, I think.
Did you turn out as you hoped? 